Alrighty guys, how's it going? Day Daddy here today and uh, we're going to look at how to replace um, your HHD uh, and a 3.5 inch caddy with a new 2.5 inch uh, SSD. So um, in my case, I had one HHD that was bad anyway uh, and I want to start converting um, my server over into using all SSDs um, just for speed, really, um, read and write speed, uh, and also more reliability. But, uh, but the idea is, um, I was looking around for ways to do this, I didn't really find a super easy or clear path, so I figured I would make a video on it um, that might help some of you guys that are a little bit newer, uh, like me. So, anyway, um, we have a bad HHD here and a three and a half inch caddy. Um, and the idea is we're gonna make it look like this. So there's a little bracket uh, that you can buy that will sit in the three and a half inch caddy and that will allow you to um, insert or uh, I guess size down to a two and a half inch SSD um, that you can use in your server in place of uh, the HHD with significantly higher read and write speeds, more reliability. Um, and actually, this one wasn't too bad. This was a kind of an off-brand. Uh, I decided to kind of go for it uh, just as it was cheap. I think this is a terabyte for uh, like 30 or 45 bucks. So, you know, I don't expect a whole lot from it. It's definitely not the most performative, but you know, for me, it's much faster than this and it's still fairly cheap or still fairly performative, I should say. So anyway, I figured what the heck, I'd give it a go. Um, and we'll, I'll give you guys an update on how these actually uh, work going forward. But anyway, so this is the goal, and we're gonna take these and we're gonna turn it into this. All right, so first things first, we need to unscrew these four screws and these four screws that are holding the HHD in. So I'll try to do that where everybody can see. All right, awesome. That comes out, there's your three and a half inch uh, caddy or tray. Set the bad HHD aside. All right, now I'll unbox this bracket. Comes with some little uh, screws for the H or for the uh, SSD. Unbox this SSD. So, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about Team Group, but there it is. The reviews are pretty good. So, um, we'll give it a go. All right, now. One mistake I made the first time I did this is, so it's going to sit in here like this, but you need to put the SSD in first, otherwise you won't be able to do it once you put it in the caddy. So, put our first set of these teeny tiny little screws in, teeny tiny little Yeah, screws. All right, so the first one. First one goes right here at the very end. And it fits with this hole in the side there. If I can ever get it in, because it's kind of tiny and hard to see. Alright, there's one, and the other one goes in through this hole right here in that hole. So we'll try to do this one.
Okay. Cool. So there we go. It's in. It's a little bit loose though, so we're gonna tighten it up a little bit. Now be really careful because these screws are super gentle. Or super strippable. Alright, cool. So that's good. We're gonna set it in there in this tray, like so. And um, you want to maneuver it back and forth until this lines up with the sass. Boom, there we go. Now we're gonna use the same screws as earlier. Put those guys back in. And we don't need any more on this side. So we'll put the big screws um, in the uh, kind of opposite side of the bracket where the SSD goes. We'll have two, two of the big screws that is. Fantastic. Let's just make sure this guy is good. Cool. All right, cool. So now everything's in. Now, the last thing we need to do is just screw in the uh, opposite side of the SSD with the tiny screws. Again. And there we go. We have now swapped over our three and a half inch caddies to use two and a half inch uh, SSDs. So let's plug it in, show you that it works. All right, so there we go. Just gonna plug it in this top. Right one here for now. There we go, fantastic. So, as you can see, bits in there. Um, the drive right now, I haven't actually um, configured any of these four uh, bays to work. Any of these, sorry, these, these four here. Um, so I'll make another video on how to uh, actually go in and configure these so that they will uh, work. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Alrighty, guys, that about does it for today. Uh, if you like the content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so I can continue to grow and produce better and better content for you. And if you really like the content, you might even consider buying me a coffee, and the information on how to do that will be in the video description. If none of that sounds good, at least just give me some feedback in the comments, let me know how I'm doing, if anything's unclear, or if there are things that I can improve on. Um, but above all, guys, thanks again. Appreciate you watching, and have a great rest of the day.